All right, you're still watching Ways Now. Safer Internet Day was celebrated for the first time in 2005. Um, this year, its theme is Together for a Better Internet. The initiative calls upon all stakeholders to join together to make the internet a safer and better place for all. Safer Internet Day spreads awareness about online privacy and security. As more and more people log on to the internet, online privacy and security have an emerge as major concerns. Now to spread awareness about online safety, February 8 is being celebrated as Safer Internet Day across the world. It aims uh, to create a safe and better internet where everyone is able to use technology responsibly, respectfully, and creatively. All right, so happy Safer Internet Day Mm. To all our internet people, let's start with the blogger. <laughs> so I, I think it's a good day to celebrate and to commemorate um, mm. because it doesn't just speak to one side of it. It speaks to security for mm -hmm. you as a person and how you use your um, phone, your apps and everything. And then it also speaks to how we relate to people, bullying, um, the way we mm. react to news and everything. So I, I think it's a, a very important day and um, there was a lot of communication from different brands globally about today. So... Um, it's just encouraging people to do better, be responsible, take care of one another, say things that will be up uplifting. Say in this regard is your comments and what you post on social media and your privacy as well. And what do you post? Um, what do you click on? So how do you create yeah. your content? You know, things like that. You know, yeah. speaking on uh, what we post, honestly mm -hmm. speaking, I had a what's in the news I wanted to take today. Yeah. And talking about safety mm -hmm. uh, for, for people. people. That video was really worrying. Yeah. I think that boy should not be more than six years old. Mm -hmm. He was drinking an alcohol brand mm -hmm. with a 30 billion gang necklace choked. <laughs> In fact, <laughs> when I was having a conversation with someone, he was asking, David, those children, do they dress like that? The one that is the 30 billion himself gang, gang yeah. do they dress like that? Mm -hmm. You know, so I saw that video, unfortunately, because of the laws of, um, what's it called? There were too many things it violated for yeah. me. Mm -hmm. And I know how many people watched that video genuinely became very depressed this morning, mm -hmm. right? How can... So another good thing that the internet had, has done over the years is also things like that would never have come to, have come to the light. Mm -hmm. But you know, now, so you see social, a lot with of the yes, entrance of social media, media and all sorts seen also, gets and for the people, you mean, I just wish they can arrest the person yeah, dancing behind him, be the person filming it, the person that came to do a selfie the with the person dancing, the mother. They should just arrest all of them. <laughs> it is so sickening. Yeah. How can a child be drinking alcohol and you can tell that the you know when they say to you, have you heard they say to Yoruba? Mm. He was like struggling and belching and he was trying to empty the bottle. What if the child is a dwarf? Is oh, that's well, not a dwarf. Man, like, um, no, remember no, no, when, was, when, remember when we had Aki and Popo and they were not this old? No, they were no, old no. then and they were still looking like that. No, in this, this one case, is this a baby. This is a minor. This is a baby. I can't even imagine that. I think it's a good one. I mean, we can't overemphasize safety mm -hmm. well, with regards to social media and what we put out in, on the internet. People are not careful, but even it's interesting how people focus on the things that entertain, that they also miss out the information that goes steadily on the internet. There are, you know, videos about people telling you about safety, about their personal experience with internet and how we'd expose My them dear. in different mm -hmm. ways. So and those are learning moments. Attention. Those are things yeah. that people should really pay attention to. But we don't to. pay attention but to we those don't. anymore. We don't. And then these things constantly happen. People fall prey or they are victims I remember of a, all sorts of crimes. A celebrity, I think Ellie, I took media. her story yeah. when she talked about how she was introduced into pornography. Mm. Mm. That she became addicted. It's the internet. So yeah. there is there is a safe way to, to expose yourself, even as adults, not to even talk of children. Mm. So there's the a internet. clip I also saw, I think I shared that to the group, um, about, um, is it someone from China now or India that was talking about how yes, they actually... the one that yes. Sean Kuti posted. How yeah. they are using social media to, to actually program, promote things program and, program. and promote yes, things that they want. you cannot just keep sitting down yeah. and saying, oh, social media is wrong, um, social media you is have to be this literate the cost as of well. that. As far as I'm concerned, social media amplifies the rot in the society already, right? Mm. So how do you work it right? Even the person who sent it to me, uh, because he's a friend that is close to the corridors of power, I had to tell him, please send this to the Minister of Information. <laughs> Let him see it and know what to do. 
do. And what they said they do is um, basically to reward program, yes, um, to so reward they, better they, content. Yes, so the yes, algorithm, yes, uh, TikTok, but the algorithm rewards only um, when your content is educational, yes, maybe it's engineering, mm -hmm. tech, mm -hmm. you're just doing something creative. Mm -hmm. yeah. the algorithm will push that content further mm. than just pushing things that are just for fun and mm -hmm. entertainment mm -hmm. and all that. I think that's a way to go. That's a good and one. if you want to control, and did you hear space, what he said? We need to, yeah. we will talk about that as we a hot should. topic. You know yeah. why? Because you heard what he said. He said that they program it so that their own people are focused on intelligent things. Exactly. Then they are, the then other the rest of the, the world, rest of the world are focused on stupid things. Did you see the and they cannot now? be productive in that you way. The what's, what's the new trend though? Okay, mm -hmm. another mm -hmm. hot topic. It's breasts. Ha. <laughs> okay, I don't understand. I will, I will share it with you people oh, after wow. the show. <laughs> this is well. All right, so we've taken a lot of time. Okay, who are we starting with? Let's um, start with Norma. Quickly, okay. your story. Okay, very quickly. Mine is about the House of Representatives approving bill to raise academic qualification yeah, so. for presidency. Mm. So the story goes this way. The House of Reps has passed for second reading a bill seeking to raise the academic qualification of the seat of the president of Nigeria, governor of a state and other elective public offices to university degree, right? As opposed or it's the, equivalent, the, as yeah. opposed to just the, uh, SSC or what? Was it SSC or, or primary oh, school yeah, certificate actually, before? Oh, yeah, okay. So the bill <laughs> sponsored by the lawmaker representing Ikene Shagamo Remo mm. North, uh, Adeomio Onanoga is seeking to amend the 99 constitution and raise the qualification from school certificate mm. to degree or its equivalent. Mm. So it's actually school sets, like mm. they would say. Yeah. Um, the, well, so uh, I think this is a good one because that means we're now beginning to to look for better quality in our leadership. Mm -hmm. um, th those who we want to lead us, not just people that um, seemingly look the part, yeah. but intellectually they are not the part. So I think it's a good one, let me not waste time. But let's see how this will play out. This is the second reading, and um, it's based on the lawmakers, the policymakers to push it forward and in agreement say that this is the way and forward. And and the president the has president to sign has. because let's assume that we want <clears throat> progress for our country. So okay. we'll continue to watch this space. I, I agree, it's a good one, mm. but I don't see him signing it. Why? Well, the next president will. Why? Um, does <laughs> Why? He, did he come in with the certificate people are talking about? No, but his tenure is just remaining one year, so it doesn't so really affect him. him. Right? It doesn't affect it him. Doesn't, no, it's not just about affecting That's why he said that he does not care what happens after he leaves. So he can just if as well. Well, it's possible he might have an aha moment at the last minute and mm -hmm. say, you know what? This is what. <laughs> ah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, but let me read my own story. <laughs> Okay, so like I said, this year is for peace, so I'm just giving an announcement, and I think it's important <laughs> for people who have um, children of the um, age. Mm. Um, so the Joint Admissions and Matriculation Board mm. has postponed the date for the commencement of the registration for the 2022 UTME and direct entry exams. A statement issued by the examination body and signed by its head, um, Public Affairs and Protocol, Fabian Benjamin, noted that the registration now commences on the 19th of February 2022 and ends on um, Saturday, March 26th. So um, let's just take note of that. Yeah. And yeah. Nigeria's future depends <laughs> on participation in science and technology, was said by yours truly, President Buhari, through his media aid, <laughs> Femi. What is his name again? Additional. Hmm. When was so, that? Um, today? Well, this today. It's Femi Additional that said this. It's Femi, ah, but it's very signed it now. Yeah, if the oh, president does not okay. approve it, he can't say it on his behalf. Mm. So the president, Major General Buhari, retired. Uh -uh. That's how Punch always calls him. <laughs> <laughs> Has said that Nigeria's survival and collective future ultimately rest um, on the active participation of its citizens in global developmental efforts, especially in science and technology. He said this in Abuja um, today as he was conferred the Nigerian National Order of Merit Award for years 2020 and 2021 on three Nigerians, uh, he, as he conferred it rather, on three Nigerians who distinguished themselves in medicine and science. And mm -hmm. this was said again, as I've mentioned, by his media and publicity advisor, special advisor, Femi Adishino. Um, 
One thing, two things, three things. Mm -mm. Twitter. The ban. That they ban. They is ban that it now. wait Let's now? Not Let's, we're not going backwards. Let's, let's, let's move if forward. So, with our so I don't want you to talk from two sides of your mouth, right? Mm -hmm. Consistently, we've seen that everything that has to do with technological advancement is mm -hmm. almost hitting a brick wall when it comes to this particular dispensation. So it's one thing for you to say it; it's another thing for your actions to back to it up, right? But it is not everything. They are, they are still I, the so ones pushing the NSB, Nigeria I, Startup Bill. I know. I'm just saying to you that mm -hmm. you see whatever it is with technology you must be able to accept Fully everything right? yes holistically so you accept the good you accept the bad you Absolutely. accept the ugly yeah so do you know how much we lost hmm. with the twitter That's ban not me doing we. do you know how much me <laughs> i lost do you understand with the twitter Absolutely. ban do you know how much was lost mm -hmm. so if you understand the impact you know no matter what, that ban was unnecessary. Totally unnecessary. It was uncalled for. Mm -hmm. It was completely... And, you know, the sad part is that you are not even coming out to admit that this mm -hmm. thing we did wrong, wow. you know. And wow. I People have not admitted answers. You only admit to I don't understand. Where, where where you feel answer. that You're talking about ordinary Twitter. Wow. And I don't believe that they feel <laughs> that they went wrong in okay. that situation. Please, let's stay on the conversation, which is um, um, science and tech, Abi. Mm -hmm. that's it. What did he say again? It's important for us to move yes, forward. Now. Yes. I think it's nice that this news is coming out now because, like I mentioned before we came on, Friday is International Day for Women and Girls in Science. And mm. of, even though that is like a section, but mm. I think that will be it's a time a for forward. them to yeah. also... Um, talk about it, talk about the challenges and also address it and begin to look for ways to ensure that things work. Um, so yeah, kudos to um, whoever Stop wrote the this team. speech. Mr. President. Yeah. <laughs> the team. <laughs> On that note, <laughs> are we ready to work as Nigerians? Young Nigerians. That's our conversation, but we'll do that right after the break. Stay with us.